Next rig is going to be the spinner D rig. Now I'm going to take this exact spinner rig that I made on the previous clip. I'm going to just push this back, cut off the braid, and just untangle this the rig. Just pull it through. Cut that off. Now I'm going to use Corda Boom 25 pound. Corda also does a 35 pound boom, for, but for this purpose and the majority of purposes uh, or situations in South Africa, the 25 just does the job perfectly for me. So again, I'm going to just cut a piece of 30 centimeters. And because it is a fluorocarbon type line, you can just pull it through your fingers and you can just get it fairly straight. So I'm going to put it down there. The other tools I'm going to use is the quarter crimping tool and quarter crimps the 0.6 millimeter. And for that purpose, I'm going to use two pieces. Then I'm going to use a spinner swivel just pull one out here and immediately I cut the ring off the spinner swivel and the reason for that is I want extra movement on the rig now you see the spinner swivel is not closed so it's an open-ended piece and believe me it is immensely strong so first I put one of the barrels, There's a, it's a double barrel uh, crimp, I push that through the line and then I add the swivel and I put it through the other barrel and then I close it just ever so slightly, I don't close the loop altogether so I've got a piece like that. Now I crimp it. Now the quarter crimping tool has got an S and an L. S for small, L for large. The S is for the 0.6 crimp and the L is for the 0.7 crimp. So I put the crimp upright into the crimping tool. Make sure that it's sitting nicely and I give it a good pull. Then I just cut the tag end off. Now I've got the spinner swivel on. The next step, I take the hook with the point downwards and the spinner swivel with the point downwards and I hook it on, like so. And then I just pull the deary kicker over the eye of the hook and onto the sw swivel. Over. like that I don't pull it over the swivel altogether just push it like that I want that additional movement so you'll see this whole thing can swivel and move around in a magnitude of ways Ending it off, you decide on a desired length, and let's say we go for a 24 centimeter length for a big lake, or if you're going to be casting it out, you go 20 centimeters. Let's go for the 20 centimeters. I cut that spare piece off. Again, I put the the line through the barrel like that. 
push it through the other barrel and then I just go and double check my measurement because it's important to be spot on if you end up catching fish you need to know on what length in what depth with what bait etc and again I crimp it and believe me a crimp is immensely strong Corda measured it that the 25 pound Corda boom the crimp the line would break before the crimp or the line would pull out of the crimp there we have it almost done bar the piece of putty and again the putty forms an integral part of all my rigs pure and simply because it helps the hook attack the bottom lip you don't need a massive piece this small piece is more than adequate and there we have it the spinner d -rig.